Hey there guys, Seb here, and we have got a little snake problem here in Secret Mission for CDI. And as Jeff so helpfully <laughs> reminded us, Cobras bite. Yeah, Jeff, they're not known for their tight hugs. <laughs> um, it does help because uh, if you walk up to this thing, you will get pissed, as you see, um, which is not typical for Cobra because they don't tend to bite that much, I believe, but oh well. But uh, yeah, if you walk too close to him, he will bite and you are dead. This game does have game over screens, uh, which is pretty cool uh, in adventure games, I find. We can look at it. A Cobra! And it bites too! Yeah, you already said it, yeah. Uh, maybe we should uh, talk him down. I'm not all there. <laughs> uh, not really sure what to say to that. Anyway, what we want to do here is uh, throw some money for it. Because it's an... Uh, no, 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 we don't want to do it. We want to blind the thing. There we go, now it's a nice snakey. Who still bites through the towel. So don't do that, because that would be deadly. Instead, we want to use the other item we found in the room, the ashtray. Phew. There you go, no more snake problems. <laughs> so, now everyone knows how you take care of a snake. If one ever enters your bedroom, be scared. <laughs> uh, not a good thing about this game, skippable cutscenes, so you don't have to sit through them all the time. Some modern games can learn from that. Anyway, let's uh, let's leave this place and go on exploring. Hello. And to do that, we've got our buddy here. Is it me you want to talk to? It's a big town. You'd be better visiting it in my rickshaw. Rickshaw, rickshaw. <laughs> I love these accents. They're so thick and over the top. It's awesome. <laughs> But yeah, rickshaw. I never, I never remember uh, what those cars are called. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's head over to the doctor. Why don't we? Uh, because uh, yeah, maybe he can help us with the amnesia, right? Okay, to Doctor Stone's twenty-eight Living Boulevard. If you'd care to get in. <laughs> yeah, get used to really exaggerated uh, accents because this game is full of them. Even though I have no clue what kind of accent Jeff is using, apart from half retard so it is, but <laughs> oh well. And every location you go to has uh, different scenes to uh, see as you go there. Kinda neat. Small detail. But this isn't where we're going at all. A friend of yours asked me to bring you here. A friend of mine? Who? Coyote. An American, I think. Well, we best meet our plant then, right? My, uh, Let's uh, talk to this monk here. <laughs> Good day. Very fine day. Goodbye. <laughs> he doesn't have much to say. Maybe he is Coyote? Are you Coyote? No, neither wolf nor Coyote. <laughs> Typical uh, monk response there, I suppose. Uh, not typical is that it actually uh, that he actually understands English. Uh, by the way, note that biker uh, at the top. We'll be seeing more of him later on, quite shortly. Anyway, where did this guy uh, run off to? Come back here, please. Not oh, even the monk is back again. Yeah, sometimes you have to wait for timed stuff to happen. Ah, there we go. Coyote? Is that you? It's me. Careful, we're maybe being watched. I'll be brief. Uh, what's new? The coup d'etat is imminent. You must act fast and prevent it at all costs. I know, I know. The documents implicating Vishaka are somewhere in his palace. We don't know exactly where, but you must get your hands on them, and then the king will be only too pleased to sign a treaty of alliance with our country. And another thing, Vishaka possesses a secret army, something to do with the Thugnats. 
Look out! Let's get out of here. I'll get back in contact with you. What the hell? <laughs> well, he is American, all right. <laughs> Another fake accent to uh, add to the list. But yeah, what kind of operation is this? Uh, they don't do this whole secrecy thing well, do they? Anyway, let's uh, check out its corpse. Hey, now here's something strange. Yeah, well, pick it up. Did he pick it up? Huh. Yeah, he did. Okay. Anything else? Ugh, frisking corpses isn't my thing. Yeah, uh, I, I don't think anyone really has a fetish for that. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe someone does, but you know, that would be kind of sick. Uh, and here's some nice flowers. Lovely, this bank of roses. Ah, now there's a lovely rose. Yeah, you never know when you need a rose, right? Jeff's real ladies' man, as you have already noticed. <laughs> And let's get out of here and finally get to the uh, doctor proper. Hello. <laughs> Where can I take you, sir? How about the doctor for real now? Okay, to Dr. Stone's 28 Living Boulevard. If you'd care to get in. And now we get introduced to. Uh, a pretty annoying part of the game and also it will demonstrate very well the worst part of the game and that is its very awkward slowdown more stuff on the screen means slow movements look at that it's really lagging now well, let's talk to the receptionist here hello it's something urgent can the doctor see me yes of course if you don't mind waiting a few minutes, the doctor will see you shortly. And with shortly, she means a very long time, because you cannot enter the doctor's office. You need to wait your turn. You're really adorable. What a charmer. Jeff doing his thing. <laughs> nah, as you uh, walk in there, the doctor gets all pissed. I'm with a patient. Wait in the waiting room. Uh... But since uh, it's slowed down so much, uh, the timer seems to be going very slowly too, so you need to wait quite a bit, which is uh, kind of annoying. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. He's all got himself messed up. Hello. Say, you look a real mess. Tell me about it. The most incredible thing happened to me. What was that? I was riding my bike peacefully in Hinson Park when I, I thought I heard gunfire. I fell off my bike with surprise, and that was it. It's stupid, because, in fact, um, it must have been just a bunch of kids letting off firecrackers. Yeah, probably. Hey, I told you he was back. He would be back. Yay for continuity in the game. Do you know the doctor well? Is he competent? Yes, I come and see him regularly. He's very competent, um... Highly reputed, even. I don't know. Uh, if you Mince, see. please! Yeah, and then you get stuck, so you cannot uh, cut line either. <laughs> but yeah, if you see your doctor regularly, then uh, he mustn't be doing his job that well, uh, I'd say. You know, let's uh, read the newspaper. Look at this! Vishaka on the front page? Let's have a read at this. Yeah, well, he is the Prime Minister, so, you know, you would expect him to be on the uh, front page more often. Oh, now he's a general, huh? Okay. <laughs> anyway, you can uh, read it as your own leisure. Just uh, pause the game while it's on there. Hmm, maybe say that <laughs> before I zap it away. You like flowers, do you? Well, as for me, I'm just crazy about them. Hmm, interesting. And we just happened to pick up a rose. 
And what does this say? The passwords for Nicky Boom, Meedit, Kratty, Mertis, Arax. Ah, uh, sounds kind of important. You guys remember that, so uh, <laughs> so we have it when we need it, if we need it. Okay, come on. I uh, I hate this working bit. So yeah, as you can see, this is the worst part about the game. Uh, it doesn't happen often that you have to wait, but if you forget something here, then you Next, have, to, please. have to come back and wait for this again. And now we can uh, finally enter here. But yeah, the game is really... The more there is on the screen, the more it will slow down. Hello, just go behind the screen, I'll be right there. Sure. <laughs> no more health problems, eh? Uh, Jeff made it funny. He's capable of something after all. <laughs> a photo of the secretary? Yeah, because that's what all doctors do, I guess. The doctor's stethoscope? Hmm, that sounds handy. Let's, uh, let's grab that. He's watching it out anyway. Please don't touch anything. The darn mirror. <laughs> oh well. Let's uh, talk to the doctor here. Hmm, she's real cute. I don't think you're her type. Says who? Are you going to wash your hands for much longer? Did I ask you anything? Uh, no. Fine, I'll get behind the screen then. And get undressed so you can look at my amnesia. The 1950s, man. A scary time. <laughs> It makes no sense. We'll bump on the head. Huh. So, what seems to be the problem? Uh, I'm amnesic. Is that all? Right, let's see about that. By the way, what do you think of my secretary? Uh, well, let's just uh, keep on being a ladies' man, I suppose. Hmm, pretty curvy. It's okay, you haven't got it that bad. <laughs> Which doesn't mean you can hang around Penelope. Say, you've had a really nasty blow on the head. You got a huge bump. Well, I never. Now, this is interesting. And not very reassuring for you. Your bump is right at the level of the occipital lobe. So what? That's the part of the brain that controls the memory. It must have been that blow that made you amnesic. Can you get me my memory back? Unfortunately, no. There's nothing you can do but wait till your memory comes back by itself. That could happen tomorrow or in ten years. Sorry I can't be of more help. Well, that was useful. Still no clue why I had to take off my clothes, but whatever. Uh, by the way, this is totally optional. You do not have to uh, go to the doctors and have him check you out. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of interesting story-wise, so that's why I checked it. But we're not done here yet, because we do want a stethoscope uh, later on in the game. And I'm going to grab it right now. Because if we were to go get it back later, then that guy would be here again and you had to wait two turns again. So we're not going to do that. We need to lure the doctor out of there, and to do that, we need to give her a rose. That sounds silly, you might say, and it is, but uh, not if we put chloroform on the rose. Okay, that should be enough chloroform for now. Hey, <laughs> have a sniff at this one, baby. Let's see. A rose? For me? <laughs> she just topples over. I love that. <laughs> Uh. No doubt about it. She's passed it out. No kidding, Jeff. Seriously, do you ever have anything interesting to say? Apart from, you know, the obvious. <laughs> you again. Please have a seat. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's warn him. 
Doctor, I think your secretary's had a turn. Really? I'll take a look right away. I'll be back in a minute. She's turned over, all right. Well, he didn't say don't touch anything, so uh, I guess we're free to loot the place. See, now the doctor is gone and you move uh, a bit faster again. The more objects on the screen, the slower things get. It's annoying. Uh, oh, I'm stuck there for a bit. Meanwhile! Penelope! Penelope! She must be pregnant. I'm sure she's pregnant. Come on, wake up. Poor little Penny. He is pretty sure she's pregnant. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he probably knows more about that. A bottle of blue ink? Hmm. Well, we'll take it. And that's it. Uh, if you forget one of those items, you have to go back and you have to sit through that waiting time again. It's annoying. I really wonder why I fainted. Maybe don't trust strangers. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, it's about time again to cut this one off. And please join me again next time where we explore more of Opelia. Until then, guys, see ya.